I am Dr. Jonathan Lashak. I'm a radiation oncologist at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital. I'm the director of the General Urinary Oncology Service for Radiation Oncology, as well as the Radio Surgery Director for Radiation Oncology and the uh, MedStar Radiation Oncology Research Director. I predominantly see uh, patients with genital urinary malignancies, most commonly prostate cancer, but I also see and treat thoracic malignancies as well as CNS malignancies, which include brain and spine tumors. What's really interesting about radiation oncology is that it's a really minimally invasive way to treat cancers and cure cancers. A lot of things that could be treated with surgery, you can actually use radiation. And you can have a patient lie down on a table for a couple of times, um, sometimes as little as five, and treat and cure their cancers, and they can go home without ever going into an operating room at all. So it's, a, it's an exciting field. Um, it is something that I was very passionate about to get into. I think why patients uh, choose MedStar Georgetown and the Lombardi Cancer Center is that we have a, a group of multidisciplinary professionals that all have a ton of experience in their cancer treatment site. And it allows us to, to cultivate a, um, an expertise in each area and offer a personalized approach for cancer treatment for our patient population. And beyond that, I think what's really exciting is to be setting the standard for the future, looking at what research we can do to improve outcomes and not being satisfied with where we are now, but taking it to the ne next step. We want to see better con control rates for cancer. We want to see more cures. We want to see less side effects. And this is what we want to achieve. And by having a lot of different research, clinical research protocols open, and this multidisciplinary team that really cares about optimizing cancer outcomes for patients, I think we're able to achieve that. And that's why I think Georgetown offers such a great opportunity for folks in this area. It's one of the most robust programs um, in the region and throughout the entire world. Uh, we really pioneered the ability to treat prostate cancer very rapidly, uh, precisely, um, using advanced imaging and technology such as the CyberKnife machine. Um, and we've been able to bring prostate cancer treatment down from what was over 40 treatments Monday through Friday, which was a real burden on patients coming in, to now five treatments. Sometimes can be completed in as little as a week, a week and a half. CyberKnife, the word, is a bit of a misnomer. It's actually not a knife. There's no anesthesia. There's no cutting. There's no pain. Um, really what's happening is we're using an advanced machine. Um, this machine has a, a linear accelerator on it, which allows us to deliver radiation to a patient. And we use that radiation to treat and cure cancers. Um, some of those cancers include prostate cancer, lung cancer, um, liver cancers, a variety of different cancers. Um, and when we uh, deliver treatment, a patient will go into a room, um, just like right behind me, uh, lie down on a uh, table. This machine will move over their body. They won't see anything. They won't feel anything. There's no cutting pain or anesthesia. Lie there for sometimes as little as uh, 10, 15 minutes and come off the table and they'll go home. What it really is is, is a, a, f a fancy machine um, that allows us to target radiation to um, an area in the body using um, image guidance, um, advanced imaging, uh, radiation planning that's very advanced, um, high-level computer algorithms that kind of calculate how radiation can be sculpted and delivered to a tumor uh, minimally invasively. And so that's really what CyberKnife uh, is uh, as a, um, a technology. At uh, MedStar Georgetown, we're really uh, proud of having a multidisciplinary team of experts that includes radiation oncologists like myself, uh, surgeons like a urologist and medical oncologists, radiologists, pathologists, therapists. Uh, it, it's a, a comprehensive team that um, brings together all the expertise we have for every cancer site, whether it's prostate cancer or lung cancer or brain and spine tumors. We capture all of the specialists and bring them together. Um, and oftentimes in one group come up with a, a treatment plan for a, a patient. Um, so we're very proud about being able to offer that to our patient population and optimize um, treatment. And, um, and when we combine our um, uh, areas of expertise, I think we can personalize treatment down to something that is, um, is optimal for the, the patient. 
The process of delivering radiation actually starts um, with my encounter with a patient in a consultation. And at that point, we'll review all of the, the tests that have been done. Um, we'll make sure that we're not missing any tests that we need to add on. And then oftentimes we'll take that case and bring it to a conference where um, in multidisciplinary fashion, we discuss each patient's uh, case, uh, the stage of cancer, the type of cancer, the patient's um, uh, uh, other medical issues and quality of life concerns. And we take this all together to come up with a optimal way to offer a uh, curative treatment um, for their particular cancer. Um, after that happens, if they do come to radiation oncology, the first step for us to do is to get a planning scan. And in the case of a uh, prostate cancer, uh, that would include a CT scan as well as an MRI. We really try to get very advanced imaging to be able to see where the tumor is in as much, with as much granularity and precision as we can. And this is something that we've been really excited about expanding on in the modern era where we have MRIs and we can see even within the prostate where a specific tumor is and target it. And the targeting is very important. That's why we get those radiation planning scans. Now, once those scans are done, a really exciting process kind of happens in the background. And that's where I'll work with a big team, um, a group of physicists and dosimetrists, where we uh, bring together um, uh, all of the imaging that the patients had done. Um, and then we'll identify where we need to treat and where we need to avoid. It's very important with radiation that you avoid normal uh, organs and structures. Uh, that's really our goal is to, to get as much radiation dose as we can, a curative dose to the tumor, and completely spare surrounding structures. CyberKnife treats prostate cancer by utilizing very advanced imaging to be able to identify where the cancer is within the prostate. So we use CTs and MRIs and we, we obtain a lot of imaging to make sure that we know where the cancer is. We then use very advanced planning algorithms um, to identify where the radiation dose should go and how to avoid the surrounding organs that are nearby to optimize radiation. It's a level of precision that can be down to several millimeters. And because it's such a precise form of treatment and we're monitoring where the radiation goes during treatment while a patient is in the room, we're able to deliver radiation so precisely that we don't need to spend nine weeks Monday through Friday treating these patients. We, we can treat them with five treatments uh, over a week and a half, and it allows patients to get back to work, to get back to their life, and minimizes uh, uh, impact on their uh, quality of life as much as possible, rather than bringing them in for sometimes over 40 treatments. And really, ultimately, that the, the reason why we were delivering radiation over that long period of time is because we were just not very uh, accurate and precise with the way we were delivering radiation. Um, and now that we have more advanced equipment like CyberKnife, we're able to focus that radiation and, and get patients back to their lives. Unlike traditional radiation that's delivered sometimes over nine weeks and over 40 treatments, CyberKnife is able to deliver radiation treatment for prostate cancer in five visits. What's been really exciting in um, prostate cancer research in the last five years is that what we've seen um, from a lot of the big randomized trials that have been conducted, um, both in um, on the United States and abroad in Europe, uh, we've compared radiation delivery uh, using SBRT or CyberKnife. SBRT stands for Stereotactic Body Radiation Therapy, which is essentially delivering radiation in a very uh, brief period of time. So larger doses of radiation delivered over a very brief period of time rather than delivering these long courses of radiation Monday through Friday for over nine weeks sometimes. What's been exciting about the research now is that we've seen if you compare that longer course of radiation with CyberKnife, uh, we don't see any difference in cancer outcomes. And um, in fact, there might be a significant improvement in um, long-term uh, quality of life from a, a patient standpoint, given that they don't have to come in for all of these sessions. Um, in terms of side effects, we've seen very similar, similar side effects, um, both from a urinary function and a bladder function, when we're comparing head to head, the longer course radiation with the shorter course radiation. So it's, it's very exciting that we now have level one evidence and strong data 
from a randomized trial that says, well, actually, CyberKnife is, is an excellent option for patients with localized prostate cancer. There's, no, there's, there's excellent um, oncologic outcomes. Cancer cure rates are essentially the same. Um, the side effect profile is very similar, essentially the same. Um, and it might even be better by utilizing a CyberKnife platform delivering SBRT. So um, this has been uh, something that is uh, a great offering to our patient population. Um, to have this experience of curative treatment, achieving what we've done over the last 20 years with conventional fractionation, the longer course radiation, um, and a very brief course of radiation, minimizing the impact on a patient's um, uh, daily life, their quality of life. You know, a lot of my patients uh, don't even stop working. They can continue working, or shortly after finishing, they can get right back to work. So this isn't something that lays people up for weeks and weeks and months. So um, it's, it's been exciting to see that borne out in, in a lot of the strong research that we see. And honestly, I think in the future, this is really gonna be, become the standard of care. Um, this is something that is, uh, is so uh, motivated by patient interest and, and, and hoping to complete their uh, curative treatment uh, quickly and painlessly. What's been really exciting in the uh, area of CyberKnife prostate cancer research is that over the last five or so years, uh, we've been able to understand a lot better how to personalize treatment for patients. And personalizing it both radiographically, meaning what we see on scans, on an MRI specifically, where that tumor is within the prostate, um, we can identify that, that tumor specifically, rather than just you know it's treating all the prostate the same amount. Um, we can see where the cancer is within the prostate. What's even more interesting now is that we can look at the genetic profile of the cancer cells and get a better understanding of what's going on inside of those cancer cells, inside the DNA of the cancer. We can look at these different genetic markers, epigenetic changes that are more or less associated with different outcomes for cancer. And what we're trying to accomplish here is using radiology or imaging and the genetic profile of the cancer to personalize treatment for patients with prostate cancer. So this isn't a one-size-fits-all type of treatment. Uh, we're very excited to be able to do that. It's, it's awesome for me to be able to offer that to my patients, looking at their whole um, workup um, from the PSA to the biopsy to the genetic profile to the MRIs and now to even PET scans. Um, uh, this is something that has been uh, incredible to see the, the fast pace of improvement in research ultimately culminating in uh, personalization and optimization of patient treatment. CyberKnife is a, a great option for men with prostate cancer um, who have localized prostate cancer. This is anywhere from low risk prostate cancer all the way up to, in some cases, high risk prostate cancer. Now, historically, we've treated patients with low to intermediate risk prostate cancer with this type of uh, radiation machine. Um, but as we are learning more and doing more research, what we're beginning to find is that there are a lot of other types of prostate cancer that can be effectively treated with this machine. Um, that may include high-risk prostate cancer, some research even into people that require uh, radiation more extensively, like in their lymph node area. And certain populations of people that have limited types of metastatic prostate cancer can even benefit from uh, CyberKnife SBRT. So this is something that um, oftentimes I'm thinking that is an option for men with prostate cancer in general. And so it's, it's something that, uh, in this day and age, uh, we really need to consider for a lot of different patients. CyberKnife is not an operation. You don't need to go into the operating room. So it's a very different um, uh, logistical uh, considerations there. Um, but a patient might be uh, interested in avoiding some side effects versus others. And that's my job and the urologist's job to figure out what, what's most important for the patient, um, what they're hoping to achieve by choosing one of these treatment options, um, if there is an option there, and, and gui kind of guiding them to the best approach that ultimately will lead to their um, optimal quality of life and outcome. For many types of localized prostate cancer, after CyberKnife, uh, we see excellent long-term oncologic outcomes. 
for certain types of cancer. So every outcome is intricately linked to the type of cancer we're dealing with at the beginning. But for some of these localized prostate cancers from low to intermediate risk, we can see outcomes uh, that are greater than 90% cure rates um, and sometimes even higher uh, following CyberKnife. As the uh, Chief of Research for the Radiation Oncology Department at MedStar Georgetown, I'm really excited about offering patients the most state-of-the-art type of treatment for their prostate cancer. Um, what we're really trying to achieve here is minimizing side effect profiles and maximizing cure rates for these tumors. What we've uh, been excited to explore is um, personalizing radiation treatment to the genetic profile of the cancer that a patient has as well as the imaging findings of identifying that cancer. And so what we're hoping to accomplish is, is maximizing radiation dose to that spot in the prostate that harbors the most aggressive disease and minimizing the rest of the radiation dose elsewhere. And we think that by doing that, we're, we're gonna be able to achieve improvements in outcomes, um, uh, hopefully improvements in side effects, um, getting patients back to work quicker, um, and also improvements in long-term oncologic outcomes. Um, and this is true not just for earlier stage low to intermediate risk prostate cancer, but also even more aggressive cancers. You know, when you treat more aggressive prostate cancer, oftentimes the burden of treatment becomes a lot more. Sometimes patient, patients are coming in for weeks and weeks of treatment because the area that we have to treat is just so much larger. But it, that may not be the, the, the case. Uh, what we're trying to do with some of the protocols that we have is target where we think the cancer is and where we know the cancer is. Um, and be so precise with our delivery that we're able to minimize radiation exposure to the surrounding structures, but still do that in a, a brief course of treatment, hopefully over a week to a week and a half, um, rather than for more aggressive cancers that require even closer to nine weeks of treatment. So um, this is really what we're excited about offering from a research standpoint and, um, and having that ability to, to offer the most advanced state-of-the-art cancer treatment at the, the Lombardi Cancer Center at MedStar Georgetown is, um, is exciting for our patient population um, and something that um, really uh, is uh, a panacea for folks that have been diagnosed with prostate cancer.